katana, um, completely black and white, a free throw in moments. It almost felt as if this dancer was walking on water. Uh, my immediate thought goes to Warrior Woman. Um, based off the costume and the music, it felt very much like a fight song. There was only one aspect of color throughout and it was just a tent that would um, come and go to the beat of the music and, and um, blues and yellows and greens and reds. And the sword, sword play was phenomenal. Um, and then midway through, uh, it changes in vibe and tone and it becomes more seductive and sensual. Great use of hair. You know, I noticed that the use of props, the same way the sword was being kind of swung around the hair now, the ponytail was being swung around in that same way. A lot of circle of camera movements. So in the first half, it was much more static as far as the way the camera was positioned, more so to capture the, the dancing as a whole, wide shots and things like that. And it, the camera movement was more stationary as if it was on a tripod. And in this other one, it seemed like it was artistically flowing throughout and moving not sure if it was necessarily done handheld because it seemed more steady than that but it was definitely moved the movement was definitely orchestrated and that circle of movements seemed to emphasize the flowy movement of the um, dancing in the second part so I thought it was a really great combination between um the skill of the director of photography the skill of the dancers you know and it all flowed together very well this film is called Katana. This is a stylized, evocative dance short. The title means a Japanese sword, and it is cleverly used in the film. I really enjoyed the strong warrior-like moves of the three dancers in the Japanese-style garden. The fact that the film was in black and white worked well to give the piece a real historical feel. I love the use of fabric, water, gorgeous makeup, and dramatic hairstyling. In addition to the warrior style dance was the well choreographed sexy movements in a darkened studio setting. To me, this shows two sides of the warrior. The synth music and percussion and the smoky lighting were also really beautiful. Great job. When watching the Katana dance video, I was absolutely floored by how beautifully it was shot and how incredible the dancers are. I think the lighting and editing choices moved seamlessly with the story that the dancers were telling and the camera movement, you know, was so artfully intertwined with the dancing. It felt like the camera and the dancing were one seamless movement. Um, the song was great and the fast pace of the editing matched really well with each song. And I think each song and dance really organically flowed into one another. And just the effects were so gorgeous and it really amplified the dancing and the story that the dancers were telling and it was captivating and compelling and a real joy to watch. Katana was edited very well and I think it was like, very interesting dancing. You know, the editing was very well done and I think all the dancers did a very good job and I really, I really enjoyed it. Katana. So the title of the film right off the bat brings to mind one of the more popular characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise. As the scene opens up, we're presented with this use of a black and white grainy canvas. And there's a femininity hiding behind the shears as her sword is raised into the air. She walks into the water as she prepares for this metaphorical cycle of perhaps rebirth, we're not as the audience really sure as to why she's diving into this water at this point in the story. The camera uses mostly a wide shot in this sequence, and then we cut to this bold statement of this sexy female warrior. I, uh, I kind of got a sense that a primal instinct was kicking in, and there was this battle between femininity, a pure uh, love, versus this primal instinct to sex, perhaps. I'm reminiscent to films such as Seven Samurai or Electra, even. There, uh, I'm curious as to why they chose to do this rave lighting uh, VFX technique. In the piece as it stands to be the only moments of color that we see within the work. Uh, the hair and makeup team did a very well job. I do wonder if that tattoo was real or not. 
because a lot of the times we have to get clearance for those things. So if the hair and makeup did do the tattoo work on the person, incredible work. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot to finesse those tiny details. Uh, the entrance of this preparation to battle, the look here is where my eyes directly go to after the title card. The choreography is synonymous. I love this balance between fight choreography and dance choreography. And as time goes by, I find my brain drifting from this form of traditional way that we see things. And as uh, time goes on, we see this transition to a more modern hip hop uh, form of dance. Um, the gasp of breath. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever taken one of these classes before uh, for hip hop, but uh, dancing in heels takes work. <laughs> uh, and it, it takes a lot of work for these moves to play out smoothly. Not a single one of us can just walk in to the dance floor and get it right the first time. Uh, I'm speaking from experience here for sure. Floor work is absolutely work. I love the editing play here as well. It was very well paced between the choreography, the camera work, the editing. The piece really ties together really nicely. Uh, this is how artists work these days. We get, we take this sense of tradition and we add our modern concept, our experiences, our emotions. And I think this is a really great example of a job well done. My interpretation of katana is some type of struggle. That's what I got, that they come to an island, meet up with other women. It kind of gave that feeling of that island, I forget what it's called, but that island of women who fought the warriors that were just winning. I'm going to call them Valkyries, maybe. Um, but they were kind of gave that feeling where they were fighting but there were some moments of peace but it did remind me of what I believe are the Valkyries I might be wrong but it gave that feeling where because these women are struggling I loved the black and light white I loved the black and white with the splashes of color in it it was absolutely amazing because it really showed helped show that inner struggle as they fought you felt like they were preparing for some type of battle, whether it was inside them or not. But you knew they were preparing for something. It's just, what is the answer? Maybe it's the message is to always be prepared because you never know what could happen in the future. Could be that they're in a time period where it was necessary to fight. It's really a movement of women empowerment a little bit with the fact that these women are dancing in an aggressive way that shows something could be coming so it's always better to be prepared all right i just finished watching um katana which was an incredibly powerful piece that used um dance performance to reflect a lot of um, ideas of sensuality and sexuality as well as um power that i really thought uh, worked well the wardrobe in particular was so striking many of the visual scenes early on with um the robes of the sheets and the middle sequences with the um the set of performers that ended up transitioning to the clothes i thought they were all um quite interesting and distinct in each of the constructs and sort of had a different purpose that created a very like storytelling type aspect with all the performances as you move through i thought there was a lot of um ideas of sort of spirituality and reflecting yourself and being your true self and expressing yourself uh, no matter how people ended up perceiving that or whether or not they found that energy to be um, aggressive or too much it, didn't, it doesn't really matter as long as you're within yourself I feel like a lot of the visual ideas and the performance ideas really match that concept um, as well as the music um, and the direction so in general I thought it was incredibly well done the um, performers were incredibly um, fascinating to watch especially in sequence and in general I, I really did enjoy the piece and thought it was was um, well produced.